Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am currently in a bathing suit. I am not in my normal state. This is just going to be a very casual video, but I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step guide as to how I self-tan using the I Love Paradise tanning drops. Now, I have all of the I Love Paradise products here that they've sent me over the past few months. Before we start this video, I just want to say if you are not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and all of the products that I talk about will be linked in the description box below. I've been a long time user of the self tanning drops. I use the shade dark and everything by the way. I've tried out every single one of these products. Um, the Isle of Paradise tanning drops though have been my OG. I've been using these for like four years or so. Um, it was the first tanning product I ever used. And the tanning water has quickly become a favorite of mine. They just released their self tanning butter which I think is their medium this is the shade of their medium so I'm gonna say it might be medium and this is just nice because it's an all-in-one product so it's good to like travel with but for like a deeper tan I don't think it gives me that deep of a tan and then the mousse which I had a bad experience with just because I'm not used to applying mousse so it was like a little bit more difficult for me but for the sake of this video just because it's going to be easier for me to show you I'm going to use the self tanning drops and by the way no it does not transfer I've never had any experiences with that they're all clear products so it does not transfer so you can go to I have white sheets I go to bed on them and nothing ever happens it's you're good to go um, like I said I leave it on overnight so typically like about seven or eight hours it's probably gonna be longer since I'm filming this like earlier in the night um, and then I just wash it off the next morning so I think the prep leading up to the self tan is definitely extremely important so I did exfoliate a few days ago I do recommend exfoliating so that you get like all of the dry skin off of your body first just in case you guys are curious I do have three recommendations yes I am excessive with all the products I get sent a lot of products and I use them literally all I'm a product horde but I love the Kopari Coconut Crush Scrub. This is just great. It's a very thick exfoliant, so it really does the job to get like that previous tan off or just like gets all the dead skin off. The Necessaire um, Exfoliator is definitely a lot more fine, so it's not as harsh. So if you have really sensitive skin, this would be great for you. And this is in the scent Sandalwood, so personally, I just think it smells amazing. And then lastly, um, we have the Isle of Paradise Body Scrub, which is like an in-between between these two. So this is also great, and this is um, this is a newer product of Isle of Paradise's as well. I don't know if you're curious, but I use the Kopari Coconut Lock body wash it smells so freaking good I do have a discount code for all Kopari products and um, potentially some of the Isle of Paradise products so again everything is linked in the description box all the details are there and then as for my razor and shaving gel which I'm recently trying out this shaving gel smells incredible like just absolutely incredible I am like in I like want this in a perfume because it smells so good it's also just like so moisturizing um, from the brand Flamingo by the way and um, yeah I use their Flamingo razor as well okay so now the part that you all have been waiting for how I self tan so I have a bathing suit on um, I normally would do this naked but for the sake of this video I'm not gonna do that so I have not moisturized I have washed my face obviously just got out of the shower so my body is clean fresh squeaky clean all good to go so because I am so cautious of what goes on my face, I'm going to do my face first and work my way down. So that's what I usually do when I use the tanning drops because I'm using my hands for everything. So I'm going to go in with my nightly um, skincare routine. Okay, and then I'm going to go in. I have my face oil on now, but I'm going to go in with my moisturizer. I use the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream if you are interested. And then I take the self-tanning drops in the shade Dark. This is just a bottle that I've had that I need to use up. I did show another one. I have like five of them on stock. Um, but I'm going to take about three drops of the tanning drops and mix that in with my moisturizer. I love how casual this video is. Um, I'm going to mix this in and just apply it all over my face. Definitely make sure to work it into your hairline. Uh, I've made that mistake before and <laughs> it was not cute. 
but like I put my skincare all on my neck too so I'm gonna drag this down I have you at a different angle now so you can see the rest of my body. I don't know if I'm going to film absolutely everything because it's like just not necessary when you get the hang of it like you get the hang of it. And I use the self tanning drops so if I'm using um, like the water or the mousse I'll just moisturize my body first and then apply those products after. You definitely want to make sure your body is moisturized before applying the product because if you're skin is dry that self tanning product is going to latch onto it and that's how you get patchy that's how you look streaky that's just not no bueno it's just not good so i have my drops here and i always use some sort of like squeezable body lotion i love the flamingo um, moisturizers and i use this one for the tanning drops so we've done the face and partially some of the neck i'm going to take my moisturizer and get a decent amount out then we have our dropper I need more we have our dropper here and I'm going to do three drops not being too precise about it and going to mix this all up you could definitely do more drops too it just like depends on how controlled you want it to be but just make sure you're doing like the same ratio of moisturizer to drops on the part like all parts of your body basically so i'm gonna start with my arms and i love the drops just because you just it's so easy to apply like you just apply it like you would moisturizer and like you don't really think twice about it being like a tanner definitely get the the hands here the elbows make sure they're not creased work it up into the shoulders come down here this is definitely a part that gets missed i'm sure showing some boobage i feel like i just love the tanning drops because i'm so sloppy with it and like you can be sloppy with it whereas like i i think the tanning drops scare a lot of people but i'm glad that that was the first tanning product i ever used because i feel like people are more used to a mousse and for me that's like scarier than the tanning drops but the tanning drops are definitely foreign to a lot of people so okay Arms are basically done. The same amount. Three drops, basically. Mix her up. And now we're gonna get like the side, like the, the front, the back of the neck. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna do the neck, the chest, the back here and I do this all by myself guys like I don't know how you might need a second partner if you don't got that flexibility I guess flexibility is that a term I've never done this with a bathing suit on but definitely get it um around here still have a hand free so we won't blend that all in but I'm going to take this and put this on my stomach now I'm just going to like go back in and blend out since I have this hand free okay now we're gonna do the back which is definitely the most challenging hopefully that didn't turn out too bad now for the legs so this is gonna be you're gonna want to take a lot more because your legs are a lot bigger it's a lot bigger of a space to cover so you're gonna take more drops too because you want to keep that same ratio definitely get the tops of your feet the ankles all right and because I was just touching my legs I'm gonna just go back in and blend out my hands and arms just because I don't want any like layering or I don't know so I think we're good to go now we got to wash the hands and we got to wash them good it's in daylight here but we are making perfect timing because that is the conclusion of my little self tan routine it takes a few minutes but it's well worth it supernatural tan let me know if you try it out they come in light medium and dark shades so Personally, I would never get the light. I have gotten the medium before. Uh, that's when I first started. That was like a beginner. We worked our way up to the dark. So, um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And again, subscribe. 
and I will talk to you guys in the next one.